it's getting dark and I'm about halfway through. That's where I ended up. The saw has to go to here. So I got that much more to do. So yeah, I'm about halfway through. Well, yeah. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, a little more than halfway, really. Well, that's good. So what I'm gonna do next, is to keep going like this, down one side, and then down the other. That makes it a little easier. And that gives you a nice line to follow. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, uh, you can see, there's where it ends. <laughs> I think I've done all right, considering what I'm using. And, yeah, it's that one right there that I'm cutting, right there. And of course I have this handy thing here to stand on, that helps me quite a bit. Gets me up closer to the level of it. But, anyway, it's time to call it a day. I'm gonna come back here. Rocky is uh, having to sleep in the camper. He's, he's in a, uh, he's in a tuna juice coma. Because he had the juice from the tuna. Uh, that was the meat for supper was a can of tuna so Rocky had the juice from that uh, the property owner here has agreed to uh, take me into town tomorrow morning before he goes to open his business he runs a, a chip wagon and he's got to he's got to go open that up there's the battery for this thing when I put this away I always remove the battery and of course, any time I have to do any work on it, too, I remove the battery. There we go. We'll put it right in here. I'm hoping that it doesn't leak all its uh, bar oil out again like it did before. Um, that wasn't good. This will go inside. This will have to be recharged tomorrow, but I'm not going to bother with it right now. Um, let's get in here. See what's up. Turn on some lights here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's not too bad in here. I've had the heat on for a while. Hi, Iraqi. You're beautiful. You're a beautiful creature. My bedding is wicked dirty. I need to take it into town sometime soon and wash it. That's going to be an ordeal. That's going to mean loading my wagon up with it. And dragging it in a, into town on my wagon. Here we go, we put that there, I put everything back. That's a big thing when you're working at something. It's important to put everything back. There we go, turn off the light so I'm not shining it in Rocky's face. Hey Rocky, here, let me help you with your tuna, eh? Pardon my fingers. He doesn't really mind too much though. There you go, beautiful boy. That was the tuna that was mixed in with the tuna juice. I find these cans of tuna, now, um, right here, they don't have as much tuna in them as they used to. A lot more juice, a lot less tuna. I'm noticing that. But then everything is doing the same. Doesn't matter what it is, you pay more and you get less. These should be cooled down by now, so I'll put the lid back on them. These are the leftover potatoes and carrots. These will be okay for overnight. These are from supper. I can get the lid on. Ha! <laughs> I can't get the lid on. Bugger. Okay, well, there's my um tang. I had to set it aside because I didn't have room for it. There's no room in here. That's, that's, that's a constant thing, is the fact that there's no room. Anyway, I'm going to need both hands, I guess, to get this lid on. Oh, maybe not. There we go. It's on now. All right. Yeah, there's Rocky. I gotta do my dishes after I get back. I'll put this here for now. This has to be disposed of. Um, well, we'll put it there for now. Okay. Well, Rocky, I gotta go back out there for a few minutes. You stay in here and hold down the fort, okay? You're a good boy. I love you. I love you so much. I do. I just love you. 
You're my good Rocky. Yes, you are. Hey, you. Alrighty. Well, I've got dishes up there. Dishes, and there's more dishes there. There's no room in here, so this is what you have to do. Bugs me, but it is what it is. These power banks, every one of them now is starting to crack up. And these are lithium batteries, so that's not good. I've, the other two, I had to throw one away because of this. And now I'm seeing it happening with this one. And the other one's starting to do it too. I don't like that. That could start a fire, you know. If the air gets in, the, in there into the lithium battery, it could. And I don't know what's underneath this plastic casing. I'm going to assume there's another layer of protection under this. But I still don't like this when it's bulging like that. So, anyway, that's going to have to be disposed of. Which means I'm running out of power banks. Which sucks. I'm going to have to buy more power banks. I guess. You can see, though, the cracks. See that? It's cracked right there. It's still working. It's still taking a charge and everything, but it's cracked. I don't even want that inside here. So what I'm going to do, I'll do what I did with the other one. Because you don't, I also don't want water getting into it. I'll just set it inside the stove here. The stove is cooled down now. I burnt some garbage in the stove yesterday, but it's cooled down. So I'll put it in there. That'll keep it dry. And it'll also, um, if it does take fire or whatever, well, it's in the stove at least. It'll burn real hot. It'll probably melt the stove, but, but still. Um, better it burn in here than anywhere else, you know. So that's it. If that happens, and on Thursday, which is garbage day, I will throw it away. But there's my wagon. That's what I use when I don't get a ride into town. That's what I use. Uh, that's my transportation right now. But, uh, yeah, the tree is over there that I was working on. Anyway, that's what's up. I'll talk to y'all later.